an alarming report tonight about Americans abusing alcohol. New CDC data shows a sharp increase in the number of deaths from drinking too much. Here to explain is Dr. Ali Raja, Deputy Chair of the Department of Emergency Medicine at Mass General Hospital. Good to see you, doctor. You too, Jessica. All right, Dr. Raja, as you know, it's hard to get real time data about the health of 333 million people. So the most recent numbers we have are from the height of the pandemic. And as you can see, we'll put them on the screen, a 29% jump in the number of alcohol related deaths over a five year period. I, I don't think it's surprising to anybody, Dr. Raja, that people were drinking more during the pandemic. But what stands out uh, to you about these numbers? A couple of things, Ben. And, and first of all, you're right. They are a couple of years old, but like you said, they're the best that we can get. So we're comparing the number of deaths due to excessive alcohol use from 2020 to 2021 to five years earlier. And like you said, it went up about 30%. Now, they included all sorts of things. So everything from alcoholic liver disease and fetal alcohol syndrome to, to car accidents and falls directly related to alcohol. But the difference is pretty striking across the board. The one thing that really stood out to me was actually women. So in women, the increase was about 35% compared to only, and I say this saying that this is still huge, only 27% for men. So that number in women was much higher than that number in men. Those are big numbers. Of course, you run one of the busiest ERs in New England. So what impacts do you see? Jessica, you know, we see both immediate impacts, so immediate diseases related to drinking, like horrible cases, like patients who come in after suicide attempts when drinking, or those who are injured by drunk drivers who are drinking. But we also see patients who come in with diseases like chronic hepatitis, or, you know, there's even certain cancers that can be related to alcohol. So all of those patients are included in these data from the CDC, and, and we can see them all in the ER. All right, so we don't have the data yet over the past three years, so essentially since the pandemic was winding down through now. But what's your sense based on what you see in your ER? Do you think Americans are drinking less or have those numbers stayed stubbornly high? I think that we are, Ben, and I really hope that we are. You know, there were a number of studies from a couple of years ago that showed that, and I know we talked about this earlier, that, that people bought more alcohol during the early parts of the pandemic, especially wine and hard liquor. Uh, you know, and as we all experienced, there was a lot of social isolation and stress. And so it's not a surprise that there's data that shows that binge drinking went up too. So I'm really hopeful that now that most of us are feeling less socially isolated and that we clinicians are aware of this issue and can screen our patients and can work with our patients to help them cut back on their drinking. I'm hopeful that next year and the year after that, we'll see these numbers start to come down. And Dr. Roger, before you go, is there any seasonality to alcohol consumption here in New England? Is it the holidays? Is it mm. summer with the picnics and the barbecues? Is it the dark gray months of winter? What's your experience been at, at the ER? You know, it's it, Ben, there's, there's not as much seasonality as there are spikes around the holidays. The one thing that does come up and that there is good data around is that the, the number of patients who come in with depression and with effects, uh, bad effects of their mental health does really tend to increase in the winter mm -hmm. as we have these darker months where we both leave for work and come home from work in the dark. And, and that can definitely be tough here in New England. So, you know, whatever you can do, especially during these times of the year where we're starting to come out of that now, but during these times of the year, come next year when we're in January, February, do what we can to support each other because those are times where we can all feel a little more socially isolated than normal. Yeah, absolutely. Dr. Ali Raja, we always appreciate your insight. Thank you so much. Thanks, Jessica. Thanks, Thank you.